most important to least important. These right now, and this is changing in time, but these are my priorities of what I essentially base my decisions on. One, absolute moral necessities and doing what I genuinely think is right. Two, people's feelings and the golden rule. Three, laws. Four, my reputation. And five, a small set of social rules. In my 20s and 30s, the order of those same sorts of priorities were as follows. One, absolute moral necessities and doing what I think God wants me to do. Two, infinite social rules that I can't keep track of, but continually try. Three, people's feelings and the golden rule. Four, my reputation. And five, laws. Social rules are a bitch. The more that you feel you have to memorize, the harder it is to function. It becomes far harder to be humorous. It becomes harder to show that you're heartfelt about something. When it comes to socialization and communication, everything becomes almost infinitely more complex. What puzzles me is that some people seem to think that memorizing social rules isn't actually about memorizing. It's instead about being empathetic. They've convinced themselves of this. People who expect everyone to memorize dozens, if not hundreds, of group identities and things that could be considered microaggressions and then declare that it has nothing to do with memorization. Nope, that's what they've actually convinced themselves is empathy. You don't actually have to care about someone. With their mindset, you don't actually have to care about someone. As long as you've memorized the things that you're supposed to and you say the right phrases, you automatically prove to everyone that you care about them by default because you've proven to people that you're thinking about everything that you've memorized about their group identity. It's a virtue. And if you virtue signal about it, that means you care in this mindset that people seem to have. I'm reminded of a video that I saw where someone really felt they needed to get an abortion and their friend drove them there, were there in the office for them, were there for, for support. But almost the whole time that they were there, they were laughing. And people were like, oh, that's so inappropriate. That, that shows you don't really care. And it's just like, they brought them to the, to, they drove them to the, the clinic. They were there in support of them, but oh, they had an inappropriate reaction. They don't really care. It's just like, that's weird. Sometimes actions matter more than words. In fact, it should matter more than words. It should matter more than attitudes. If someone is there for someone, they're there for someone. They care. Anyway. It puzzles me that some people seem to think that everyone should have the same hierarchy of thought and way of breaking apart the world. That we should all be seeing the same patterns and categorizing those patterns the same way. And measuring their level of importance using the same theories. So, you know, if you look at different patterns and see the world differently, and you dare to talk about it, you're considered uneducated, you're ignorant, or bigoted, or racist, or sexist, or xenophobic. You're a bad person unless you break apart interactions in society a very particular way. Yeah, I have a problem with that notion. I think we should be free to think of the world however we want. Pay attention to whatever patterns we want. Categorize what we see how we want. Measure their levels of importance however we feel like. I mean, as long as we all have the same definitions of words, you know, that's possible. Of course, when people are spending all this time trying to redefine words to mess this sort of thing up, to make it harder for people who look at the world differently to describe the world in front of them, it makes that very difficult. I mean, but to me, regardless of how we break apart the world and categorize the world, as long as we're using the golden rule, we're trying to treat people decently, and we don't violate people. That's really all that should matter. I hate how diversity of thought has been demonized in recent years. I mean, there's, there were definitely times in the past where 
that's been demonized, but by the other side. It used to be the religious fundamentalists who would demonize diversity of thought. Used to be the conservatives who would demonize demographical diversity. But now we have a massive celebration of demographical diversity, but a demonization of thought diversity. But even when we had the religious fundies pushing their shit, you know, individualism has been important to this country for a long time. Individualism is part of the fabric of, of this country in general. You know, the individual is important. Individualism used to be a trait we looked up to. What happened? It seems that collectivism is taking over. And quite frankly, it's kind of terrifying. I'm much more than my demographic. I may be a gay man, but I'm also an individual. I have the right to think of the world any way I, f I choose, any way I feel like. I, I have the right to break apart society any way that I feel like. I have the right to see the patterns that I do and categorize their importance however the fuck I feel like. Anything that tries to take that away from me, yeah, it's gonna get some pushback. And I think that any sensible person who considers themselves an individual would do the same. Just saying.